Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video and today the Detroit Pistons are taking Cade Cunningham. Now, will I make a reaction to when we draft him? Probably. I'll probably make another video tonight when we first draft him. But, as you guys know, if you guys have been on Twitter or any social media within the last couple hours, it is announced that the Detroit Pistons have decided that they are going to be taking Cade Cunningham. It's already guaranteed, pretty much. Unless something crazy happens, we're already locked in to take Cade. And I'm not going to lie, these last few days have been very stressful as a Pistons fan because I've been seeing... Hold on, something popped up on my phone. I've been seeing so many rumors about Jalen Green, Evan Mobley. We might trade the pick. We don't know who we want. But now that we're finally... We already know that we want Cade. Everyone knows we're taking Cade. It's so much less stressful as a fan. Now, the biggest worry I have is what we're going to do with our three second round picks we have. Like, are we going to trade those to move up in the first round, get another first round player? Or maybe take all of the second round picks? I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with those second round picks. But, the main part of this video is my reaction to taking Cade Cunningham. Like I said, I might make another video tonight when we first take him. Like, when we actually take him in the draft, I might make a video tonight for that. But, I just wanted to make this video. It's a Woj bomb, obviously. Woj tweeted that the Detroit Pistons have made their decision. Cade is already coming to Detroit right now, I'm pretty sure, is what it said. And, as a Pistons fan, as you see, I'm wearing my Derrick Rose Pistons jersey. I also have a Blake Griffin Pistons jersey, but, you know, I still represent D. Rose, Blake. You know, I loved both of them on the Pistons, but... Cade Cunningham, I'm going to get his jersey 100%, and he'll be the one player. I'm not going to be wearing no D-Rose or Blake jersey anymore. I'm going to be wearing that Cade Cunningham jersey. I'm also going to get an Oklahoma State uh, Cade jersey, too, while I'm at it, bro, because Cade is the future of this team, bro. Not only is Cade Cunningham going to be on our team next year, he's the future, bro. Like, this isn't only something I should be excited about right now. Like, this dude is going to be on our team for five-plus years. Like, this is... This is the probably craziest moment of a just any any moment for a Detroit team in my life, bro. Like I've experienced really good Detroit Tigers baseball when I was younger. We haven't really been good lately. Um but the Tigers have had some good moments. The Lions have always been throughout my life we've been mediocre, even now we suck right now. But uh, the Red Wings had some good moments. Pistons made the playoffs twice and or a couple times in my life, but haven't really ever competed. But this is the type of player that you get to build a future with. Cade Cunningham is a player that you set your franchise around. Jalen Green is cool. Jalen Green might be a first or a second option on a on a contending team one day. But Cade Cunningham is the highest stealing player in this draft. The not only that, he's a guaranteed bucket like he there's no way this guy's gonna come into the league averaging six points per game like we know at the very fewest this guy's gonna be averaging 15 plus in his rookie year he's gonna be averaging 15 plus in his rookie year not only that he's gonna be making all rookie team that's guaranteed we already know he's gonna be a star bro like it's this ain't gonna be no anthony bennett pick this ain't gonna be no darko milicic pick this is Cade cunningham this dude is gonna be a walking bucket my best comparison i don't like when people compare him to luca like i would be amazed if he's like luca but i see more of a devin booker a jason tatum um let's see anyone else uh i can think of a couple people anyone that's like a walking bucket that's a wing that's my best comparison for him uh maybe like a let's see anyone else i could probably think of i don't know uh not kevin durant because he's not as tall as kd um, Paul George, a Paul George is a good comparison for Cade, um, Cade is 6'8", he can play point guard, that's what he's gonna play, probably point guard, but he can guard 1 through 3, like, this dude can literally guard 1 for 3, he's a good defender, not the best athlete, but he is an athlete, like, don't, I'm not gonna sit here and say he's not athletic, because he's definitely athletic, it's just not his main, uh, you know, ability, his main ability is his basketball IQ, his passing, his dribbling, um, his shooting ability. Um, he's a very smart player, which is why people, which is why people compare him to Luca. I understand why they do it, but I'm not gonna put high, that high of an expectation on a rookie like that. But I, I'm just making this video. 
because Woj announced that we're taking Cade. I wanted to give you guys my thoughts. I Like I said, I might make another video later tonight talking about it. I'm going to even probably make a video reacting to the whole draft. I might upload that to my second channel. So guys, click the link down below if you guys want to see my second channel. Um, and also, I usually make my videos over there pointing this way. But I actually think this is a better background. So if you guys like seeing like the camera going that way, you guys can like see my PC behind me. Actually, I don't, actually, I don't know if you can see it. My PC is right there. Um, but pretty much, I just wanted to make this video tell you guys my thoughts on Cade Cunningham, bro. If you guys um, have me on Snapchat, I just posted a picture of uh, like me being very happy about it, bro. If you guys don't know, my phone home screen for the last month has been a picture of Caden in a Pistons jersey. So, I've been manifesting this crap for a month now, and now that it's finally happening, I'm happy as heck. Um, and I'm gonna be getting a Cade jersey. Um, this is my favorite moment of a Pistons fan, bro. Like, I was so happy a few years ago when we made the playoffs with Blake. Um, but this beats that, bro. <laughs> bro, we're gonna be, dude, we're gonna be contending for a while with Cade, bro. Not only, not only am I happy about getting Cade, it's just the future of the team looks bright, bro. We have a great GM. Troy, Ch Troy Weaver is a top 10 GM in the NBA. I don't care what anyone says, what he was able to do in his first year of being a GM for the Pistons. The team that he started with compared to the team he has now, it's not even close, bro. Yeah, obviously we sucked last year, but a lot of that was because we had a lot of young players and also a lot of, like, injuries at the end of the year but let's be honest we wanted to get that number one pick like we wanted the best chance that we possibly could get um but jeremy grant that's a building block piece kate cunningham that's a building block piece killian hayes not great last year but i could see a future of him being a starting point guard in the nba for a long time he's only 19 so i mean give him time um sadiq bay bro he is going to be a walking bucket i could see that dude averaging 18 points per game at one point in his career he's a walking bucket he's a shooter he can do do a lot of different things. I want to see him be able to create his own shot a little bit more. Maybe get some better passing and defense. But besides that, he's a walking bucket. He can make shots. And uh, I like Sadiq Bey a lot. Isaiah Stewart, great player. Now, can we spend some money? I, I don't I don't think we need to yet. Um, but I want to see us spend some money within the, ne within the next three years before Cade wants a contract after his rookie deal. I want us to get a max player build around that player with Cade, um, Killian, Sadiq, um, Isaiah Stewart. So, yeah, obviously we don't need to spend any max contracts this offseason, but within the next few years, I would like to see us spend some money because people are going to want to come to Detroit. Usually, that's something crazy to say. No one ever wants to be in Detroit. But when you have people like Killian Hayes, Cade Cunningham, um, Sadiq Bay, we have a good coach in Dwayne Casey, people are going to want to play with that. Even though it's Detroit, people will want to come play with that. So, I'm excited, man, as a Pistons fan. I don't want to drag this video out any longer, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up here. But my thoughts as a Pistons fan is I'm very happy right now. Um, it doesn't seem like I'm that happy, but I'm just shocked right now that we're actually, like, finally announcing that we're taking Cade. Whew, it's crazy, man. Um, but yeah, man, Detroit, it's looking like a bright future right now bro so i hope you guys all enjoyed today's video got the red lights for the pistons i'll be probably guys should i stream i could stream the draft later while on my reaction to it see i might be live later tonight during the draft and also make some videos as well but yeah man i'll be live later tonight for the draft yeah i'm gonna stream the draft later tonight i hope you guys all enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below what your guys' thoughts are on us taking cade and uh yeah man hope you guys all enjoyed I'm sorry Rockets fans and Cavs fans who wanted Cade. You guys are going to get some good players too, so you're fine. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. We're so close to 1.5K. Anyone that's new, hit that sub button. Let's see. Dude, it's draft night. We can hit 1.5K tonight. Everyone sub up. We're seven away from 1.5. And uh, yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. Drop a like. Subscribe if new. Peace.